Today's event is more educational for me because looking through uh, the boards there, the photos there, the awards here, listening to Uncle Bob's speech, um, seeing the video of the uh, of of the history of this chapter, uh, I've learned a lot about what this unique organisation has done in the last 60 years. And it's worth pointing out that 60 years ago, 1956, is before Madeka. So this, this is a very, you predate the independence of, of our country um, by a year. And in the, um, in the video, I saw scenes of friendship, of fun, events and fundraisers to help, to help others. And even tonight, as you're celebrating your 60th anniversary, you're also raising more money for charity. So even when you're celebrating, you're still thinking of aiding others. And all these tangible bits of history that we see around the room and in the speeches of our um, predecessors, um, all of these show and symbolize a strong institutional memory of JCI Strumban. And I think this is, this is very important in our country today. We have in Malaysia many, many institutions, many old institutions, many great institutions. But when those institutions do not have a collective memory, when they do not, when the current office holders, when the current members do not appreciate, or do not remember the fact that 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 40 years ago, 60 years ago, these are the things that they used to do, it becomes very easy for the nature of the institutions to change, for the mission of those institutions to change. Without a strong collective institutional memory, institutions can even be subverted uh, and made to serve objectives other than those which were intended. So the journey of JCI Sramban is testament to the endurance of volunteerism, philanthropy, and community spirit. And I often say that community, community service ought to be at the cornerstone of what it means to be a citizen. And Dr. Terry just gave me your active citizen framework, and I can see how it asks the reader to methodically think about how you can contribute back to, to the community. By getting to know one another, by understanding the challenges faced by other Malaysians, we help to reinforce the feeling of shared citizenship. If citizens can accept that all Malaysians have a common destiny, then our political parties and government institutions should act accordingly. Unfortunately, in Malaysia today, there are too many people who do not appreciate this shared citizenship. They think in terms of their own identity, whether it's ethnic or religious identity, and they think that the role of the government or the role of the institutions is only to protect and advance that identity, even if it is at the expense of others. And when entire cohorts of Malaysians think like this, sharing the same physical space, but not sharing the same ambitions, then the prospects for a united future for all Malaysians become more difficult to achieve. I'm therefore glad that when I look around this room, I see a diverse crowd. And I hope that despite different backgrounds, we can all embrace a bit of the optimism and spirit of service that JCI espouses. In its commitment to responsible citizenship, the rule of law, goodwill and understanding, I believe that it is a spirit that is consistent with the objectives of Merdeka that were championed by our father of independence, Tunku Abdul Rahman Putra Al Hajj, as well as our own Rukun Nagara. And in this connection, I believe it's vital for all young Malaysians to learn about the history of our country, um, and the crucial link comes in understanding how the history of our country shapes the institutions we have today. Why we have something called a Dewan Rakyat, why we have uh, someone called Yang Diputran Agung, to whom we raised a toast earlier. How our army and police force developed. How our law courts work, and so on. In this way, we equip ourselves with the knowledge to become more informed citizens 
and I hope JCI can play a role in this regard. And one thing I noticed that sets JCI apart from other similar organizations is the fact that the members are always young, 18 to 40. Um, and not only young, but typically young professionals as well, from a variety of sectors. And I think that's very important. I, I noticed in your creed you mentioned the importance of free trade and free enterprise. I think this is something which my organization, Ideas, um, believes very strongly in, uh, the role of the, of the market. Uh, but this is, it's essential because by being young professionals and being in an organization like this, um, it ensures that the organization always remains forward-looking and rooted in real aspects of Malaysian life. Sometimes you get people who are, you know, uh, NGO activists or whatever, but they don't have any uh, industry experience. They're not actually involved in business or in another part of Malaysian life. So I think that's an important feature that you have. And sadly, I have sometimes come across organizations that have started off with very good intentions, but after some time they run out of steam, or the people have been in office for so long that the organization becomes more about the personalities rather than the mission or principles. So by forcing your members to be under 40, I think that automatically happens with JCI. I also understand that an important component of JCI is international cooperation. In an age where competing worldviews manifest themselves in divisive politics and sadly even violence, I think it is even more important that young people all around the world come together to share what they have in common. So I congratulate JCI on its contributions towards these noble goals over the past 60 years in Sremban and I hope that you will continue to play a central role as you look towards the next 60 years. Thank you very much.